Hey guys, welcome back to FIFA 22 CF1 Abrada Career Mode and it is such an exhausting uh, 15 minutes actually because I actually did record this episode but by the time I finished recording the audio the computer just shut us just shut the whole thing down shut the whole computer down and I uh, didn't save any of my work, which means I have to redo it again, which means it is going to be another uh, 10 minutes commentary uh, from me by re pretty much commentating the same thing again from 10, 15 minutes ago. So let's do this. Yes, we are starting uh, this, well, this episode, knowing that we are playing uh, three games in this episode, of course, at the same time we are going through the pretty much the last uh, the the summer transfer window, and I did say in the last episode that I really do hope that this uh, this season will be the last season uh, of this career mode. Again, I had a lot of fun. Of course, certainly a lot of growth in general. Uh, number of players, number of incomings and out uh, outgoings that have occurred throughout the whole uh, career mode has been transfer uh transforming quite a lot to be honest from not quite qualifying for the playoffs in the first season to uh pretty much one of the um spanish giants in uh in 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 the league has been phenomenal to be honest yeah we are overachieving for the past two years but again this season is pretty much about winning the league yeah i'm trying to do this uh like a very progressive uh progressive moment where we started from you know what um uh, started from uh getting promoted getting like a basic european football but of course i was actually aiming just to stay up um in the liga first division uh in the last season or in, yeah in the last two seasons but of course we were quite strong enough to be competed in the europa league and of course we did that but unfortunately got knocked out in the quarterfinal but this season is something different we are going for the league at the same time trying to win the champions league and of course i really do hope it's going to happen in this season because Again, haven't I haven't been quite winning the league in general, but a uh, winning Champions League. But it would be fantastic if we do that. But of course, right here with uh, CF1 Abrada, completely a different experience because again, different sets of players at the same time. You feel more uh, you feel more entitled with these players because you kind of uh, a lot of them kind of stick with you throughout the whole series. For example, Navarro is one of them. He is pretty much our very first signing for the club in season one, signing from Real, uh, Real Sociedad B, I believe so. And the was uh, uh, as well, I believe he came uh, He came to the club in second season, I believe. And of course, uh, Ilya is playing on the right-hand side as well. He is, again, another veteran for the club. These three players are pretty much on the, uh, the the top hierarchy in terms of team uh, team leadership and of course pretty much our back three has completely transformed for the past three four years of course uh the the back three that we have been using wasn't quite good to be honest but you know what finally we built a quite uh a defensive line on paper looks very good but you know what based on this game we consider three games already but scoring five goals which is quite incredible at the same time Navarro got his hat trick um Makoko score a couple. Uh, Makoko score one. The Doi score one, and of course, a newly promoted, not a newly promoted. Uh, Romano actually did play for us in last season, I believe, in uh, in probably as a substitute appearance. But of course, he went out on loan last season. But you know what? This career mode right there, I'm trying to like give back to the youth community by you know playing them so uh for example romano right there uh scoring his first goal for the club finally Lorai, the brightest uh central midfielders that i ever scouted and of course we have uh richie as well who is currently on the bench i believe so and i believe he came off off the bench right there uh, right behind romano of course uh these three young players are going to be uh, prominent as our main backup throughout the whole season yeah, we don't have Coin Drady, we don't have Contero, we don't have Vignedo. All of them are sold for a considerably very good profit. But at the same time, it is an amazing profit, uh, an amazing investment if we somehow got a few trophies out of those three youngsters that I just mentioned. And right there, we won the first game, 11-goal thriller. Oh, not 
Not uh, not quite sure about that game yet. We won that game. We scored seven goals, but conceding four goals is still kind of really, really painful. Again, I spent so much money, at least 130, was that 140 million on the defensive back line and somehow just conceding four goals in the first game, which is very, very painful to be honest. But you know what? We move on. We move on to this second game of this episode against Lafonte. Again, uh, we are currently at the top of the league, of course, uh, having a three goals difference, but at the same time, uh, scoring seven goals as well. Scott Matomne scoring his first goal for the club after his second appearance right here. Again, he is that type of profile that I've been looking for, to be honest. That type of strong, uh, very good in the air, good physique, and of course, he is not very slow. Instead, he is actually quite of a player that I really do want. It's actually that type of profile, strong. Uh, it reminds me, certainly reminds me of Joseph Fernandez, who was part of our journey uh, two, three seasons ago. But uh, you know what? We have a much better option right there. Barbosa, again, it, he is quite of a weird signing. I didn't certainly find him very amazing, but of course I find him decent. But I don't think he has done anything for us that seems to be like raising our eyebrow. Nothing like that, but instead Barbosa will be pretty much will be uh, a, a squad player for sure. But of course, uh, he will have his time to shine. And right then, the foul was scoring the second goal, and we t we took the lead right here again. Unfortunately, 28 minutes, and Levante has scored once again, and they equalized the game for the second time in today's game. And it seems like our defense hasn't been improving quite a lot, which is I found that very frustrating as well. But you know what? I'm trying to stick with what we who we have so far. Again, somehow the fact that at one point I believe I was thinking about changing this formation, but thank God I didn't because. It, this career mode is all about persistency, it's all about efforts, all about braveness, and we complete all of that. It seems like um, the attacking side of it seems to be paying off the defensive side of it. We still have quite a lot of work to work for. 51 minutes in, uh, of course, Makoko scoring the, uh, the go-ahead goal, and here comes Makoko once again scoring his second goal right there. Navao with the assist of Makoko again has announced himself to the scene right here he will be a very major part of our striker project in this season as well and of course right there very very hardworking player in general uh getting that ball back you know what neat that uh nick that off uh nick that off ball out of that uh defender and right here a hat trick he completed his hat trick hopefully there will be more hat trick to come throughout the whole season and right here we have two transfer offers right here for serrano and ben goffrey again both of them are you know what i i, I could have i could have just blocked the offers so you know what we can skip all of these shenanigans because again nowhere in my mind that we are looking for replacement at this point we only have pretty much around 20 million i believe to work with so um not much of a change here but it is going to be quite tough and right here we receive three offers right here for makoko ben goffrey and also serrano uh, actually for Sohuantes at the same time again despite uh, makoko right there 118 million from Villa real but again with that money, yeah, it is certainly a lot of money. Am I going to sell him? Definitely not. He is 20 year old, 85 rated. You can't find any jam like that elsewhere uh, in this career mode. Why not just keep him and potentially uh, allow him to win us the league? And right here, we have Rye for pretty much the last game uh, in this career mode. Uh, actually, no, the last game in this episode against Valencia. Again, for the past few seasons, we did not. We quite horribly had a very bad record against them for the past few seasons but you know what uh again starting from the clean slate uh you know what uh, right here 52 minutes in we couldn't really score find any chances in the first half but right here finally our first goal will comes down right here here comes Kador looking for a pass in the middle to Serrano he make himself a lot of spaces in the middle and he smashes that one in and we finally take a one nothing lead 10 minutes after the first half and finally I thought this game was going to uh you know it is going to be miserable at one point but it did not finally we found our more deserved goal right there 72 minutes in goal started to come right here 73 Three minutes and here comes Serrano. What a great passing! What a great, great team goal in general. Um, Serrano to Navarro to Godoy, and we have uh, extended the lead right here 
two nothing. And this time, pretty much, it's uh, we finally got our first clean sheet. How often can you say that clean sheet with uh, uh, Fonabrada? It's completely absurd. And of course, right there, we got our first clean sheet. Finally, after conceding around, what, six goals, six goals in general, finally getting the first clean sheet. Very, very happy about that. 20.2 uh, 20 million to uh, to work with uh, pretty much for the last 10 hours of the, uh, of the summer transfer window. I was looking for Felipe Jesus, but unfortunately, we didn't really have all the information that we need to uh, to know about this player. And of course, um, of course, failing to negotiate at this point would be uh, would be a, a, a fair assessment in the end. So uh, even though I did try to go back again at least two three times just to make sure that he is available for transfer, but unfortunately. The game wouldn't allow you to do that because apparently the the other manager is quite furious with the offer. So you know what, I'll take that. But turns out that 20.2 million uh, hopefully will be spent uh, in the January transfer window. Again, there is always for improvement in our team, whether it's uh, whether we are acquiring more players, quality players right now or in the January transfer window. Either one because, again, uh, there's no rush in terms of transfer. But yeah, Lozano again. Another very interesting player that uh, I might let go in the January transfer window. But who knows because, again, we have four top, top quality uh, defenders. I don't, certainly do not need a fifth one unless, of course, one of them got injured. But in general, that will be it. That will be the end of the summer transfer window. And this is the squad that we will be working with throughout the whole season. Hopefully, this team, this squad, will bring us to glory. And right here, we are checking out the table right here. Uh, well, perfect record for us. Three goals, I mean, three wins, uh, three games played, and scoring 14, conce conceding six. And of course, that's not the prettiest part, but you know what? It's just part of the process right there. And I believe uh, there's only uh, three teams, actually four teams who conceded more than us, which is quite shameful. But you know what? It's part of the process. It's gonna, it's gonna be better. I know that, but you know what? In general, August, a very, very good month for us. So thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like this video subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys in a bit.